How to use an image sequence to create an animation using Tupitoof? Let's find it out! Hi, this is Gustav, the developer of Tupitoof. Welcome to our channel! In this Tupitoof, we are going to create a basic animation using a sequence of images or SVG files. Let's say that previously I was working on a set of PNG or JPG images from any illustration software like Photoshop, GIMP, Inkscape or Corel Draw. In my case, I'm going to use 13 images. Of course, to use them as a sequence is important to work using the same dimension for each image file. Another good advice is to place your sequence in one specific and independent folder. Avoid to mix your sequence with images from other projects. Ok, it's time to open Tupitoo and create a new work. Note, to obtain an accurate result, don't forget to set the same dimension of your images sequence for your animation project. Our next step is to open the library panel from the left border of the main window. From there, you will be able to choose the type of elements you want to import into your current scene. In this case, you will have to pay attention to the options Image Sequence or SVG Sequence, depending on the assets you have prepared for your animation. For the first example, I'm going to use the option Image Sequence. A dialog will show up. From there, I have to choose the folder where the image sequence is located. Remember, you have to choose a folder, not the sequence itself, file by file. Several users get confused at this point, because they try to choose the images one by one. But as we are importing a sequence, we are talking about a lot of items, so the manual selection doesn't have too much sense in this context. Ok, once we have chosen the folder containing the sequence, then Tupitoof will notify you about the number of images it will try to import. You just have to click the OK button and wait for the end result. It can take a while depending on the number of images you want to import. From my own experience, don't try to import sequences with more than 100 images, or you will have to deal with memory issues specifically if you are using a Windows system. Ok, at this point the importation process is done, and as you may notice, Tupitoof included one image per frame, so automatically I can preview the animation. By the way, I adjusted the FPS in this case from 24 to 8 frames per second, so it looks better. But let's go a little further this time. Let's add a new layer to the project, and then let's make a little intervention. I'm going to add eyebrows to the character using the line tool. Note, remember that using layers to separate the different elements of your animation always is a good practice, as you can enable and disable any of them whenever you need it. Once I have finished my intervention, the animation is ready to be exported so I just have to follow the wizard you already know to get the final video file. Ok, let's do a similar exercise, but this time using an SVG sequence. 
As you could imagine, the procedure is basically the same. Create a new project, open the library panel, choose the SVG sequence option, pick the folder with the SVG files, click the OK button from the pop-up dialog. And that's it! This time I won't make any intervention. But remember that you can add as many layers as you want to complement your animation project. And that's it! Finally, it's time for some greetings. In this occasion, I want to say hi to some of our community members. And they are... JR Animations Mila Rachel King Love and Shadow Master. Thank you for your comments. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this stupid tip, leave a comment saying hi, and please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video!